US Route 411, US 411 is an alternate parallel highway associated with US 11. US 411 extends for about 313 miles 504 kilometers from US 78 in Leeds, Alabama, to US 25 West, US 70 in Newport, Tennessee. US 411 travels through northeastern Alabama, northwestern Georgia, and southeastern Tennessee. Notable towns and cities along its route include Gadsden, Alabama, Rome, Georgia, Cartersville, Georgia, Maryville, Tennessee, Sevierville, Tennessee, and Newport, Tennessee. US 411 and US 11 never intersect with one another, though they come very close in Leeds, Alabama, Gadsden, Alabama, and Maryville, Tennessee. US 411 also spends much of its route close to the Interstate Highway System, Interstate 40, I-40, I-75, and I-59, though it never has an interchange with I-59. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Route description. Most of the terrain through which US 411 passes is rural countryside, with no major metropolitan areas directly along its route. However, it does pass relatively near the major cities of Birmingham, Alabama, Chattanooga, Tennessee and Knoxville, Tennessee. In Sevier County, Tennessee, south of Knoxville, US 411 is used by many tourists as a route to the northern side of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. US 411 passes approximately 20 miles 32 kilometers north of the national park, but intersects with US 441, which actually goes through this park. Although US 411 has a south-north designation, it contains long stretches that are west-east, and its overall direction is actually southwest-northeast. US 411 is generally a two-lane highway through the countryside. However, it has long been a four-lane, divided highway connecting Rome and Cartersville, Georgia, and it is a multi-lane highway connecting Cartersville with I-75. Also, for part of its route in the Cartersville area, US 411 shares a four-lane, divided highway with US 41. Furthermore, the Tennessee Department of Transportation completed a project to widen the highway to four lanes between Maryville and Ocoee, Tennessee. Topic: Alabama. US 411 begins at US 78 Parkway Drive in the city of Leeds in far eastern Jefferson County. State Route 25, the US Highway's companion route, continues south as a signed highway that briefly follows US 78 east before splitting south toward Harpersville. US 411 heads north along two-lane 9th Street, which has a pair of at-grade crossings of Norfolk Southern Railway rail lines. The street's name changes to Whitmire Street, which the US Highway follows to Asheville Road. US 411 follows Asheville Road, a two-lane road with center turn lane, northeast into St. Clair County, where the highway expands to four lanes. The U.S. Highway meets I-20 at a partial cloverleaf interchange as it leaves the city of Leeds. U.S. 411 continues as two-lane Moody Parkway northeast through the Cahaba Valley formed by the Little Cahaba River between Pine Ridge to the west and Oak Ridge to the east. The highway has a brief concurrency with State Route 174 through Odenville, where the highways pass under a CSX rail line. US 411 continues northeast through the Beaver Creek Valley between Pine Ridge and the Beaver Creek Mountains. The highway leaves the valley after it joins US 231 Heart of Dixie Highway to pass through Pine Ridge to the city of Asheville. The US highways enter town along 5th Street and proceed to the county courthouse, where they meet the eastern end of State Route 23 6th Avenue. Both highways turn east onto 6th Avenue, then US 231 turns north onto Court Street East. US 411 leaves Asheville along Rainbow Drive, which heads northeast between Big Canoe Creek and Canoe Creek Mountain to the south. The US highway crosses the mountain and enters Etowah County where it crosses the Big Canoe Creek branch of Neely Henry Lake. 
US 411 follows the western flank of Dunaway Mountain to Rainbow City, where the route intersects State Route 77 Grand Avenue. US 411 expands to a four-lane divided highway as it enters the city of Gadsden. The highway crosses the Big Wills Creek branch of Neely Henry Lake and meets the eastern end of I-759 at a partial cloverleaf interchange. That freeway continues east as State Route 759. US 411 veers onto Albert Raines Boulevard, which follows the right bank of the Coosa River through downtown Gadsden. The highway passes by the Spirit of American Citizenship Monument and under Broad Street, a CSX rail line, and US 278 and US 431 Meghan Boulevard, which access US 411 via a partial cloverleaf interchange. US 411 leaves or will soon exit Gadsden along a newly constructed four-lane divided highway that passes between Shinbone Ridge to the west and several loops of the Coosa River. The U.S. highway drops to two lanes before it enters Cherokee County, then expands again to a four-lane divided highway, Weiss Lake Boulevard. U.S. 411 curves east along the northern edge of Weiss Lake and intersects State Route 68 Industrial Boulevard in the town of Leesburg, east of which U.S. 411 and State Route 68 cross the lake, an impoundment of the Coosa River. Shortly after entering the city of Center, the U.S. Highway and State Highway turn onto the Clarence E. Chestnut Jr. Bypass, a four-lane road with center turn lane. U.S. 411 Business and State Route 25 continue along Main Street into the center of town. State Route 68 diverges from the U.S. Highway at Cedar Bluff Road, which carries State Route 283 southwest toward downtown. State Route 283 becomes US 411's companion route on the bypass, which next intersects State Route 9 Armory Road, which intersects State Route 68 immediately to the north. US 411 drops to two lanes east of State Route 9 and curves south to collect the east end of US 411 Business Main Street and State Route 25 on the eastern edge of Center. U.S. 411 continues east and crosses Cowan Creek before reaching the Alabama-Georgia state line and the northern terminus of State Route 25 east of the hamlet of Forney. <laughs> Georgia US 411 enters Georgia at the western terminus of its companion State Route 53 in the southwestern corner of Floyd County. The two-lane highway, which is named Gadsden Road, has a brief concurrency with State Route 100, which heads north as Foster's Mill Road and south as Mill Street, on the west side of the town of Cave Spring. US 411 enters town along Alabama Street and leaves to the northeast along Rome Street. The US highway continues as Cave Spring Road, which crosses Cedar Creek and passes through Vans Valley. U.S. 411 passes under the West Rome Bypass and intersects U.S. 27 and State Route 1 Cedartown Highway, which U.S. 411 joins heading north. The four-lane road with center turn lane passes along the west side of Lindale and between Walker Mountain and Booz Mountain on the west and east, respectively. U.S. 411 and U.S. 27 expand to a divided highway as they enter the city of Rome and then a four-lane freeway as they cross over a Norfolk Southern Rail Line. The freeway has a diamond interchange with Darlington Drive and Old Lindale Road and a half-diamond interchange with Maple Road. Immediately to the east of the second interchange, US 411 passes through a directional T interchange, US 27 SR1, SR20, and SR53 head north toward downtown Rome and US 411 and SR20 head east. Immediately to the east of the split, the U.S. highway has a partial cloverleaf interchange with State Route 101 Dean Avenue. There is no ramp from State Route 101 to westbound US 411. The freeway ends east of State Route 101. US 411 has an intersection with the southern end of State Route 1 Loop East Rome Bypass before leaving the city limits. US 411 heads east along Cartersville Highway into Bartow County. The four-lane divided highway parallels and then crosses the Etowah River. 
US 411 crosses over an east-west CSX rail line immediately before its trumpet interchange with US 41 and State Route 3, Joe Frank Harris Parkway. The two U.S. highways head southeast into the city of Cartersville then diverge immediately to the east of a north-south CSX rail line at the boulevard's partial cloverleaf interchange with State Route 61 Tennessee Street. Immediately to the north of the interchange, State Route 20 Canton Highway splits east and State Route 61 becomes U.S. 411's companion highway toward Tennessee. The U.S. highway heads north as a four-lane undivided highway that becomes divided temporarily through the highway's partial cloverleaf interchange with I-75 Larry McDonald Memorial Highway. U.S. 411 drops to two lanes south of the town of White, where the highway begins to closely parallel the north-south CSX rail line. The U.S. highway intersects State Route 140 Henry Mack Hill Road in the hamlet of Rydal before entering Gordon County. U.S. 411 passes through the town of Fairmount as Salicoa Street. The U.S. highway runs concurrently with State Route 53 between Calhoun Street and Fairmount Highway. North of the town of Ranger, through which the route is named Tennessee Highway, the highway meets the eastern end of State Route 156 Red Bud Road. U.S. 411 passes through the town of Oakman, then diverges from a road called Old Highway 411, crosses to the west side of the railroad, intersects State Route 156 Nicholsville Road, and enters Murray County. The U.S. Highway passes to the west of Reregulation Reservoir and Carter's Lake, both impoundments of the Kusawati River, which the highway crosses to the west of the lakes. U.S. 411 intersects U.S. 76 and State Route 282, which follow part of Old Highway 411 before heading east through the Cahutta Mountains, and the U.S. highways begin to run concurrently as a four-lane undivided highway along the west flank of Fort Mountain. U.S. 411 and U.S. 76 continue as 3rd Avenue through the city of Chatsworth. In the center of town, the highways intersect Fort Street, which carries State Route 2 and State Route 52 east toward Fort Mountain and State Route 52 alternate to the west. At the north end of town, U.S. 76 and State Route 52 leave U.S. 411 along G.I. Maddox Boulevard. The U.S. Highway passes along the west flank of Camp Ground Mountain and is named Hill Street through the town of Eaton, where the route meets the eastern end of State Route 286 Coffee Road and drops to two lanes. U.S. 411 passes through the town of Crandall, crosses to the east side of the railroad, and follows the Ferry Valley to the hamlet of Cisco, where State Route 2 splits to the west. U.S. 411 crosses over to the west side of the rail line in the hamlet of Tenga immediately before reaching the Georgia-Tennessee state line, where State Route 61 has its northern terminus. Tennessee US 411 enters Tennessee at the southern terminus of its companion State Route 33 in the southwestern corner of Polk County. The highway crosses the Conasauga River in the hamlet of Conasauga and meets the eastern end of State Route 313 Lad Springs Road in Old Fort. US 411 parallels the CSX rail line through the hamlet of Okoe, where the highway expands to four lanes plus a center turn lane and has a partial cloverleaf interchange with US 64 and US 74 SR40. North of Okoe, US 411 crosses over the railroad and the Okoe River and passes through the town of Benton, where the route meets the northern end of State Route 314 Parksville Road. The U.S. highway expands to a divided highway north of the town. U.S. 411 intersects and begins to run concurrently with State Route 30, crosses the Hawassi River, and meets the eastern end of State Route 163 in the village of Delano. U.S. 411 becomes undivided and crosses over the CSX rail line shortly after entering McMinn County. In the town of Etowa, the highway follows Tennessee Avenue, meets the western end of State Route 310 Mecca Pike, and State Route 30 splits west along David M. Lilliard Memorial Highway. 
The highway becomes divided once again north of town and continues through farmland and countryside before becoming undivided once again before entering the town of Englewood and goes through town passing just east of the downtown area and intersecting and having a short concurrency with State Route 39 Athens Pike, Teleco Street. US 411 then becomes a divided highway again as it leaves Englewood and enters countryside once again before crossing into Monroe County. US 411 continues through countryside before entering the city of Madisonville and becomes undivided for a short distance before having an intersection with its former alignment, which travels through downtown Old US Highway 411, before becoming divided and having a partial cloverleaf interchange with State Route 68, New Highway 68 which provides access to Sweetwater, the Lost Sea, Teleco Plains, Cherahala Skyway and the Cherokee National Forest before going along a bypass of downtown as a divided highway passing through a major business district. US 411 then has an grade-separated interchange with its former alignment Warren Street before becoming undivided before leaving Madisonville and continuing north as a four-lane divided highway through farmland and countryside. US 411 then comes to an intersection and becomes concurrent with State Route 72 Loudoun Highway just before entering the town of Vonor and becoming undivided once again as this time it passes straight through downtown instead of bypassing it. It has an intersection State Route 360, which provides access to Fort Loden and Fort Loden State Park, before leaving Vonor via crossing a bridge over the Little Tennessee River, Teleco Lake before State Route 72 splits off and goes east following the banks of the lake before becoming divided once again before crossing into Loudoun County. It then becomes undivided shortly afterwards though it doesn't pass by any businesses or towns as it stays in farmland as it becomes known as Greenback Road. It then passes just south of the community of Greenback and meeting the southern end of State Route 95, which provides access to the community. US 411 then continues through countryside and farmland to cross into Blount County. US 411 continues through farmland as an undivided four-lane highway and has an intersection with State Route 336 northeast of the community of Lanier. It then continues through farmland before entering the city of Maryville and becoming concurrent with US 129 SR 115 Calderwood Highway, provides access to Calderwood, Tallahassee, and the Tail of the Dragon and pass by a few businesses before really entering the business district at the intersection with State Route 335 William Blunt Drive. They continue through a major business district before coming to grade-separated interchange where US 411 and US 129 split with US 129 bypassing downtown to enter Alcoa and provide access to McGee Tyson Airport and Knoxville and US 411 continues north into downtown next to Foothills Mall. US 411 continues into downtown, as Broadway Avenue, and comes to an intersection with US 321 SR 73 Lamar Alexander Parkway, provides access to Walland, Townsend, Wares Valley, and Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It then has another intersection with State Route 336 before traveling through the center and most historic part of the city before coming to an intersection with State Route 35 Hall Road, Washington Street, with State Route 33 continuing north to Knoxville and US 411 turning right to become concurrent with State Route 35, its new companion route. It follows Washington Street for a short distance before turning left onto Sevierville Road, at an intersection with State Route 447 Washington Street, and leaves downtown. It then passes by Blunt Memorial Hospital before going through some neighborhoods before leaving Maryville and continues as a narrow two-lane highway through countryside and farmland and crosses the Little River in the community of Wildwood. It then continues through countryside and farmland, passing by 411 Speedway, before crossing into Sevier County. 
US 411 immediately enters the community, through large enough to be a medium-sized city, of Seymour and goes through some neighborhoods before coming to an intersection with US 441 SR71 Chapman Highway, provides access to Knoxville and State Route 338 Boyd's Creek Highway, provides access to Kodak and Douglas Dam, with US 411, State Route 35 turning right to become concurrent with US 441, State Route 7 71 and continue as an undivided four-lane highway through the heart of Seymour before leaving Seymour and some mountains and becoming narrow and curvy, though it maintains four lanes throughout. After several miles it then widens out to a four-lane divided highway and stays that until it enters the city of Sevierville where it becomes undivided once again. They intersect with Old Knoxville Highway before crossing the Pigeon River and entering downtown at the intersection with State Route 66 Winfield Dunn Parkway, provides access to I-40, which is where US 441, State Route 71 splits off, as forks of the River Parkway, to go to Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and US 411, State Route 35 continue straight into downtown. It goes through downtown as Main Street and has an intersection with State Route 448 North Parkway, Parkway before leaving downtown at the crossing of Middle Creek, where it transitions to Dolly Parton Parkway. It continues through a major business district and has an intersection with State Route 449 Veterans Boulevard, provides access to Dollywood and Pigeon Forge. It then passes by some more businesses before leaving Sevierville and entering the community of Cherokee Hills, near the intersection with State Route 416 Pittman Center Road, provides access to Pittman Center and Gatlinburg. It then has an intersection with State Route 339 Long Springs Road, provides access to Cosby before leaving Cherokee Hills and narrowing to an improved two-lane highway. It then passes through the community of New Center before having a sharp switchback and becoming narrow before crossing into Jefferson County. After crossing the county line, US 411 immediately enters the community of Chestnut Hill and has an intersection with State Route 92 next to the Bush Bean Museum, which also right across the road from the Bush Brothers and Company Cannery Plant and Corporate Headquarters. US 411 then enters some mountains and becomes curvy for a short distance before widening to a new four-lane divided highway just before crossing into Cock County. It continues along the new four-lane highway into the city of Newport and ends at its national northern terminus at an intersection with US 25 West, US 70 SR9, just a short distance away from that route's interchange with I-40 Exit 432AB, though Exit 432A is only signed as US 411 on the interstate in both directions, with State Route 35 turning right to become concurrent with, though unsigned, that route towards downtown. Topic: Major intersections. Topic: Alabama. Topic: Georgia. Topic: Tennessee. Topic. See also Alabama Portal Georgia U.S. State Portal Tennessee Portal U.S. Rhodes Portal <laughs>